guys it's me again kiana and welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title of this video we are going to be doing my fall reading recommendations now these are my personal opinions nobody else's of books i just feel reading around this time would be absolutely amazing some do have to do with halloween but that's just my preference i have six books here so let's go ahead and get started with this video the first book is a middle grade and that is city of ghosts by victoria schwab and this follows a girl named cassidy blake and when cassidy drowned and was brought back to life she has now been able to see ghosts and one of them is her best friend and she has this gift to go across the veil which is going basically to the ghost side her parents are all they're like ghost hunters almost so now they are going on trips to basically to the most haunted places ever and in the first book they are going to edinburgh scotland i believe edinburgh scotland where graveyards castles and secret passages team with relentless uh restless phantoms i absolutely love this the first and the second book when i read them last year i can't wait for the third book to come out and i believe for as a middle grade this is a really good like fall halloweeny kind of read i really did enjoy this one i did re uh, read this i believe i gave the first one a four out of five stars all of these i have read so i will also be giving a rating as well the second book i would recommend to read is truly devious by maureen johnson and this is a mystery kind of book in this book we follow um a girl named steph and she is obsessed with these murders um the ellingham disappearance of the daughter and the ellingham murders so it's like a dual timeline we follow steph in 2016 and then in 1926 when the founder of the school that steph is going to when his wife and daughter was kidnapped his wife was found murdered but his daughter was never like seen again and i absolutely love this i feel like this would be a good um fall kind of read because it is murder mystery and there's three books in this series i have read the first and the second book i just haven't read the read the third book yet and i did give this a five out of five stars the next one i feel like i should have a reread because i haven't read it in over a year and that is the wicked deep by shara and shot and this is a hocus pocus basically retelling but instead of the sanderson sisters it's the swan sisters and in this small town of um sparrow two centuries ago they drowned three sisters the swan sisters and so the swan sisters come back every two weeks in june for what is known as the swans the swans um season and they take over the lives of three girls to basically lower these young men into the lake and basically drown them as payback for what has happened to them three um like two centuries ago so we follow 17 year old penny talbot and penny doesn't know that for the past two years her body has been taken over by one of the swan sisters i absolutely love this book when i did read this and i did give this a five out of five stars as well and i really did enjoy this and if you haven't read this you should just look at this cover this is just the paperback the hardback cover people say is much more stunning but i really really did enjoy this The next book is Winterwood by Cher Earnshaw, and this follows, it's been such a long time, this follows um, the Walker woman, this follows a girl named, let's see, Nora, Nora Walker, and they are known to be witches, they are known to never have a man in their life, like, they can't hold a man down longer than it takes to create a child so that the Walker family history can live on. They live in the woods, really, really isolated, and one night when Nora is walking the woods, she stumbles upon a guy. But the thing is about these woods is you only find lost things, and so then stuff has to now, stuff begins to happen of how does she reveal, like how does she keep her secret to him, how does she help heal him, and where the hell did he come from, and why has nobody reported him missing. I really did enjoy this, it, the, like the twists and turns that came with this it was amazing. This was also a 5 out of 5 stars. I, of course, cannot recommend Paul Reads without recommending one of my favorite trilogies ever, and that is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Everyone knows about this, and if you haven't, you have lived under a rock. The Cruel Prince is the first book in the Air of Folk trilogy, and we follow a girl named Jude who is a human, and when she was 7 years old, 
her eldest sister's father comes, kills her mother and father, and then when he realizes that they have had children, he now takes them as his responsibility and brings them back to the world of Fae. But Jude and her twin sister Taryn are nothing but humans, and humans in the Feyland are regarded as the lowest of the low, and they're treated absolutely horribly. I love this series so freaking much. It's time for a reread, guys, because I have annotated the first and the second book, but I have not yet annotated the third book. All, five, all three books, I have rated five out of five stars, and I will recommend these books till the end of my days. And then the sixth and final book I have to recommend is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmer. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. In this book, we follow a girl named Harper, and she suffers from peri Okay, so in this book, we follow a girl named Harper, and she suffers from cerebral palsy, and people have always looked at her different in DC. One night, when she's being basically the lookout for her brother, she sees this guy trying to kidnap this girl and jumps to defend her, and ends up being taken into the magical land of Emberfall, where she meets Prince Ren, who has been cursed for such a long time by this witch because Ren did not want to sleep with this witch and every like season he does turn into a beast and this is the last season that he can find someone to fall in love with him and break his curse. I absolutely love the first book. The first book the ending like literally broke me into tears. I love the second book as well which is right over there A Heart So Fierce and Broken. That book was amazing and I cannot wait for the third book A Vow So Bold and Deadly I believe it is. Both of these books are amazing. If you have not checked it out, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do. And I just, it's one of my favorites. So yeah, those are all six books that are on my, for my fall recommendations. I absolutely love all six of these books. And I will recommend them, like I said, until my last days on this earth. But that is all for this video right here. I'll be leaving on the side of me two videos on this video. Guys, go check out. I try my hardest to post twice a week. And I'll see you guys hopefully very soon with another video. Bye!